Okay, welcome to the session. And in this session, we will uh, see how we can hide data in uh, a spreadsheet. Why it is required? Sometimes, you know, you are sending your uh, spreadsheet to, um, say, some uh, some of your competitors or some some of your dealers or some customer just to uh, show some data so maybe you would like to show them quantity sold total sales etc but you may not like to show them the price of uh, uh, your uh, uh, items because uh, that will uh, show them at what price you are buying and what is your profit margin etc so in that case uh, we will just click the column name and right click it and just say height so that will be hidden in that similarly you can do the same thing with the rows maybe suppose these three rows if you want not uh, if you want them not to see you can select these two three rows and say height so data is not deleted but you can see uh, it is skipping from uh, row 8 to row 12 it means the rows between 8 and 12 are hidden another way of finding out that is this line a slightly thicker line uh, it shows that there are some hidden data in that not only that uh, you can hide or unhide the sheets now suppose this is sheet number two uh, Okay, this is sheet number three. These are some internal uh, documents like uh, this is uh, generated from our uh, session where we were thinking about uh, what if statements. Now, obviously, you don't want uh, them to say. So, what you can do is right click on that and say hide. And if you want to unhide it, you simply go here, unhide. And it will show you the list of all the uh, uh, all the sheets that has been unhidden, and you can um, unhide them. Now, another thing is, although you can, if we can do it so easily, the same thing will be true for your uh, uh, for the people whom you are sending it. They can also unhide it, but in that case, you have one. Uh, uh, option where you can say protect workbook so if you see in this uh, you click on protect workgroup it is asking for the password I give a password okay confirm password okay okay so if you go again um, for unhide the unhide section is grayed out so they will not be able to uh, see those uh, sheets unfortunately that is not true for uh, this uh, password protection is not true for hidden um, columns and rows if you go here and click on that it is still giving you unhide option so they can still unhide it so um, to work around this there is an option you can go to fly file go to save as and this workbook instead of saving as excel workgroup uh, excel workgroup you can save it as pdf document save it and send it to them and because it is PDF, they will not be um, able to see those hidden uh, columns or rows. Okay, another thing is, how about if you don't want to see them certain cells or range of cells, like this cell or these range of cells, you don't want them to see. Okay, again, uh, there is no direct way of doing it, but you can do in a way uh, which is uh, uh, if they want they can see it but uh, 
um, again if you have uh, saved it at, as a pdf document definitely they will not be able to see it and go to characters select white and see all this because you have written in white color it is uh, they are not able to see it but still if you go and select this in the equation section equation bar it will show the and data yeah, whatever is there in these hidden uh, cells so you should know about it but if you again after doing this if you are saving it as a pdf document there is no way they can find out that uh, what is the value of these cells so i hope this was useful and um, Mm, it's pretty forward uh, pretty straightforward let me know in the comment section if you have any queries on that and uh, i would definitely like to um, do my best to um, reply to your query and thanks for watching